good. Boom shakalaka, let's keep going. The next thing that we define is uh, the configuration and we've asked for a sidebar layout, right? So this says sidebar layout. And of course there are other configurations, but in this example, we're using a sidebar layout, which means that there will be the input on the one side and the output on the other side. Obviously, because we've said it's dynamic, if you move things around, they might pop on top of each other, but um, that's the basic principle. Can you see that these are all functions within functions? There's fluid page and then open brackets within that, there's title panel, open and close bracket, so we finished with that, uh, then comma, sidebar, layout, so that's the next argument still within fluid page. Within sidebar layout, there's a couple of things we wanna do. We've got the sidebar panel and we've got the main panel, right? So these are all arguments within sidebar layout. So there's a bit of nesting happening here. It, it's, it might seem a little bit intimidating at first, but it's, it's, really, it's really not if you look at the structure carefully and then, so, the, so we've got the sidebar panel. So now we're talking about the sidebar panel, right? We know it's going to be the input. And how, what kind of input do we want to use? Do we want a drop down menu? Do we want a calendar to pop up? Do we want, and in this case, we've got a slider input. So you just use the function slider input and it knows that it's going to create one of these little slider inputs that you can drag left and right. And depending on where you've dragged it to, a different number will pop up, right? That number that pops up needs to have a name of some description so we can reference it later on when we are telling R to render a graphic. We want that number to be part, to be inserted into the code so that it can re-render with this new parameter. And so the first argument inside slider input is, we've called it bins, you could call it anything, but that is what the data that comes from the input will be called. And it will be referenced as input dollar sign bins. In our code in a few minutes, you're gonna see us reference input dollar sign bins, and that's where it comes from. Easy peasy. Uh, number of bins, that's just the title that is sitting above the slider input. And then for the slider, we've now defined the edges of it, the minimum, the maximum, and the default value that it sits at. So when I open this up, it usually just automatically opens up at a value of 30, and it's gonna have a slider that is between one and 50. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Nothing complicated about that. Are you with me? It's just not that complicated, it's just new. Uh, but once you've done it once or twice, uh, new becomes easy. So we've defined the sidebar panel, the next thing we wanna define is the main panel, and this is where the output is gonna sit. The output could be a plot, it could be a table, it could be any number of things in this case.